Hey guys, this is Gunter from alerttimelapse.com and uh, welcome to the second part of my video where I introduce you the gear I currently use for time-lapse shooting and for motion control especially. Um, in the last uh, video I showed you um, the advantages of the Emotimo TB3, the 3-axis controller um, used as a camera head to perform a vertical and horizontal um, pans and uh, um, tilt shots. And um, today I'm going to show you how to combine this with the uh, motion you can do on a slider. And in this example, I use the uh, dynamic perception uh, stage one slider. Um, it's a portable one. Uh, you can uh, can divide the the slider at this position and here, so you can put it uh, into your uh, normal luggage when uh, flying anywhere. Um, so this is a very cool and light slider. Um, normally, it's equipped with uh, this uh, linear motor here. Uh, this is a motor that comes with the um, uh, stage one and I removed that motor and I exchanged it for a, a stepper motor. Um, it's this one. Um, I uh, got two of them. It's one is a bit faster and the other one is a bit slower. And uh, it's basically the same motors that you can find in the uh, TB3. If you have a look here, this is uh, basically the same motor than this one. So, um, First thing was uh, to exchange the motor. That's no big problem because uh, if you buy those uh, motors here, uh, they will fit exactly into uh, the slat of the uh, stage one. Uh, if you have another slider, we will have to uh, look if you have a, um, a hole uh, in the right size and you probably would have to uh, drill some screw holes as well, but uh, for the stage one, it's everything is already prepared. Um, the second thing is, I um, bought a special one-way head because you are going to see you can mount the Emotimo directly on the plate of the of the stage one, but then you would have the problem that uh, as soon as you are going to make uh, tilted shots, uh, slope shots here, then you have a problem because if you uh, pan the camera, you won't get an even horizon. Uh, so uh, it's crucial to level the Emotimo or to be able to level the Emotimo to stand horizontally. Um, so all you need is a head for one axis only. You can as well screw a ball head onto the Emotimo, but it won't be as stable as uh, this solution here uh, with this uh, one-way uh, head. Um, this head, I'm going to provide a link as well, comes equipped with the ARCA mount, so it's, it's no uh, additional adapter uh, needed. Um, so I can put the Emotimo right onto this plate, screw it on, check my bubble level and uh, then adjust the angle here to compensate for the tilt I did with the slider. Uh, probably you have to adjust ball heads on the tripods uh, leveling the slider a bit if you have a look at the uh, at the bubble level here okay so basically that's it you need another motor it's not very expensive and you need uh, yeah a head to be able to compensate the tilt of the slider if you only shoot in uh, horizontal position uh, you can mount the um, the Motimo directly on the slat of the stage one. 
Okay, um, now we need a power supply and uh, I attached, I glued a little bit of Velcro tape here so I'm able to just stick my battery uh, onto this and now I'm supplying it with power. Um, the motor mode starting and I'm getting my uh, remote here and uh, this uh, cable here from the motor you have to solder the four, um, four contact connector here on the cable and then you can put it here in the auxiliary step motor input connect the camera cable and that's it um, first thing is again connect joystick I'm going to connect the joystick and uh, that's it and now you can operate all three axes the two axes of the Emotimo and by tilting the control you can operate the uh, stage one isn't that cool? I love it. It's very, very cool. So basically now with the Emotimo mounted to the Dynamic Perception Stage 1, it's the same story like uh, if you use only the Emotimo. Only you have another axis to control. And uh, so you can still move your camera left, right, up and down. And then you can, by tilting, the controller you can move the third axis that's uh, the stage one here um, so in this case I have used a very very slow stepper motor because I want to be able to push this sled up in a vertical manner if I tilt the slider totally up in 90 degrees uh, I need a strong motor um, otherwise uh, the faster motor won't be able to to do this but if you only use uh, small angles and if you uh, want to make video or if you only um, use it in horizontal position you can as well use a faster motor it's I think five times faster than this one um, and uh, that's okay as well it, it would be this one here and I'm going to provide uh, two links to those uh, motors and um, that's, uh, it's, it's a pity that it's not so easy to exchange the motors um, if uh, would be cooler to have uh, two slats with uh, one motor each but I think this slat is pretty expensive as well so I'm not going to to buy another one uh, but for me it's, it's okay I don't need the very uh, fast movement so this is pretty fine and um, I uh, suggest we are going to make a video this time yeah, so normally um, if you shoot from a slider you always have the problem that you the camera looks in one direction and uh, the direction doesn't change so if you pass an object um, you will lose that object out of the viewfinder uh, sooner or later especially if the object is very close um, close by um, so that's what I'm showing you in this movement now I'm going uh, down the slider and I'm not panning or tilting the camera so you can clearly see we are going to lose the other camera uh, out of the viewfinder sooner or later and um, that's a cool thing if uh, you combine um, the movement the slider movement with the pan and tilt of the Motimo So after going down all the way the slider, I'm now um, adjusting the viewpoint. So I'm putting the tripod here back into focus. 
So this is the end. Um, and I'm confirming this uh, position now consisting of the three points of the uh, vertical and horizontal axis and the position of the slider. I'm uh, confirming this as end point. And now we are going to set the interval to video and set the move duration to 30 seconds and um, static time is video as well. Uh, we are going to use a ramp of 90 frames. No lead in, no lead out. And uh, now the camera is going to the start position and you can already see on my live view here that um, in contrast to the last sequence I just showed you, now uh, the camera is being tracked by the movement of the vertical and horizontal uh, axis. So uh, this is a pretty, pretty cool effect if you use it uh, for your time lapse uh, because it looks like you are moving around your uh, subject you're filming. Okay, now I can review my parameters again. I'm going to hit the C button to start the program. So this is the gear I use currently for shooting time-lapse. Um, it's pretty cool, it's pretty lightweight, you can carry it because of the de-assembly uh, possibility of the um, stage one and uh, the Motimo is not uh, very heavy as well. Um, so I'm, it's very portable and it allows for a variety of shots that wouldn't even be possible uh, with the Merlin or the old MX2 controller. Um, so thank you Brian for making this um, awesome piece of hardware here uh, and good luck uh, further developing uh, the software and I'm really looking forward to what is coming next and um, yeah thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the videos a little bit um, see you soon at lrtimelapse.com. Please visit our forums if you want to discuss with us a little bit. It's forum.lrtimelapse.com. See you soon. Bye bye.